Hello everyone, welcome to Cook Me Crips Coding Class, and welcome back to the Making Your Own Clicker Game Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to make it so that not only can you click on a button to get more generics, but you will be able to, if I just open up the console here, we will reorganize the code to make it neater, and we will be making it so that you can automatically get generics using like upgrade thingies clicker dot upgrades dot generic machine dot mount plus plus and now as you see we have one generic per second i'm going to show you how to do that let's get started all right so open your editor again And it should automatically open what you last closed, which is great. And here we are. So the first thing we're going to do is we don't want to have a separate variable for every single object because it'll make it difficult to save the game in the future when we do that. So instead of making a variable for generics, we're going to make a variable with a variable inside it. It's called an object in JavaScript and a dictionary in other languages. But you make it like this. Let's just change it to clicker. And then instead of zero, we will open these brackets. And inside, we'll put generics colon zero. And now it's like we have a variable generics inside of another variable and we would call this instead of generics we would call clicker dot generics plus plus and here we would do plus clicker dot generics and that's great because now we can have other things that are all inside of clicker and we can simply save and load clicker so now that we've done that we're also going to make it so that instead of having a function for generic clicked, we're going to have a function for thing clicked, and then it'll just work. So change this generic clicked function to thing clicked, and then we'll change this from generic clicked to thing underscore clicked and then inside of the parentheses yes this function is going to take an input remember we talked about that last week you will put in what you want to give that function and that will be down here on the button you want to add one generic so it will be generics great now how do we make the function how do we give it the ability to read the text that we just gave it well that's actually very easy if you go up here to the function inside of these parentheses you just make the name of a variable up so we can just use thing which is not very creative but who cares and then instead of clicker dot generics we can do clicker dot whatever the thing is but now you're like wait how, how do we do that we can't do clicker dot thing no but it will also let you use the square brackets and a string inside of them. So you can do clicker generics. And that is exactly the same as typing clicker dot generics. So if we just do clicker in square brackets thing, now it will be the same when we call it down here as clicker dot generics. Great. Now just add the plus plus back in. And we're good to go with that. Next. We don't want it to be updating every time you click because we're going to have auto clickers and we want them to update independently of you clicking refresh. So delete that. You can copy it for easier reference later and we're going to make a new function. Function update count. And the sole purpose of this function, for now anyway, is going to be to update what it says every couple seconds. So 
This shouldn't be that hard. There's a thing in JavaScript called set interval. And what it does is, well, it sets an interval. It tells it to repeat it every amount of time. So if we tell it set interval, and then inside the parentheses, we're giving it an input, and we do open parentheses, close parentheses, equal sign, greater than sign. This basically just creates a function and lets us run code from it, and then open curly brackets. Then inside of it, you can do, you can paste that same code that we had up here. And then we can give a function multiple inputs by putting a comma in between them. So if we just do comma and then 50, that's the number of milliseconds in between each time this function is run. So it'll run this every 50 milliseconds, which is about 1 20th of a second. Actually, no, it's exactly 1 20th of a second. Then, you know, it'll update pretty often, often enough that it'll look good to watch your numbers rise really fast once they start doing that. Add a semicolon to that. Great. If we hit go live, the game should still run exactly the same. Here, it just opened itself in my browser. And there's one issue you'll notice. It's not updating. Why isn't it updating? Well, it's, that's very simple. We haven't called this function. But we only want to call this function one time, because otherwise it'll keep on setting the interval over and over, and it'll just it'll overload everything. So how do we only call it one time? Well, in the body tag, you can do on load, which means as soon as the page is loaded, it'll do whatever code goes in here. It's kind of like on click. And we can just do update count, open parentheses, close parentheses. And then it'll only run the function once the page has loaded. And now you'll see that when we click on the generic button, we get more generics. And it's still just as fast. We can click super quickly, and they'll still rise because the function is called every 20th of a second, which is pretty often. Great. That works. Now, let's let's add some, some upgrades so you can have it open in the background and get a bunch of, of generics. Well, that's pretty easy. So at the beginning of this set interval, before it updates the text, let's add something else. We'll do a for loop. For, and what a for loop does is it does an action for everything in an array or an object. So if we do i in clicker.upgrades, which we haven't created yet, then it will run this code once for every upgrade we create. So let's add a comma after this generic zero and make a new a new part of this object. So we'll do upgrades, colon, and then here's the thing, objects can have objects inside of them. So we can just do open curly brackets and inside we can do generic underscore machine, colon, and this object, this is also gonna be an object. And then curly brackets again, and then amount, this controls how many of them you have. We'll do, oops, that was a mistake, that was a typo, don't do that. We'll do zero there, and that's how much you'll have, you'll start with. And then we'll do cost, they'll start at 10 generics. So cost colon 10, and then another comma, and then GPS, or generics per second colon 1, you'll get one generic per second from them, comma, name, colon, and then we'll give it a name, generic machines. Great. Now we have the generic machine update. Now in here, let's write some code. So i represents the index, which is which one of these you're on. So the first one would be a string called generic machines, 
and then if there was another upgrade down here, it would run the code again, except I would have the value of whatever we put here for the next one. And yeah, that's basically it. So if we do inside of here, clicker dot generics plus sign equals sign. So we're adding to clicker dot generics clicker dot upgrades. Remember, we can do like this dot upgrades instead of thing in square brackets, we'll use I clicker dot upgrades I which in our case, the first one would be generic machine. The second one would be whatever we put after it, or there wouldn't be a second one. Dot amount star, the asterisk, which is above the eight key on a standard keyboard, which means multiplied by, in case you're wondering. Multiplied by clicker dot upgrades again in square brackets i dot gps which is generics per second divided by which is a slash 20 because this runs every 20th of a second so every 20th of a second it will add the amount of every upgrade you have multiplied by the amount of generics every second that update gives you divided by 20, which will make sense because every second it'll give you your, your generics per second. Great. Now let's refresh in the browser and we don't have a button for the, the upgrades yet. We'll do that in the next video, but let's try something. We'll open up the console. You're going to want to use this a lot. Basically every browser has a console. If your browser doesn't have developer tools, then use a different browser. So, in the console, we can type clicker dot upgrades dot generic machine dot amount plus plus, which will add one to our generic machine. Hit enter, and you'll notice a problem immediately. Our generics are rising. We're getting one generic every second, just like how we should be, but we're also getting decimals, which makes sense because it runs every 50th of a second. But we don't want to do that. We, Those are ugly. Nobody wants to see that. So let's go back to the code. We want to round the number down so that even if you have 4.9 generics, it will display as four generics until you have five. That's what we want. So. Luckily, that's pretty easy. JavaScript has the ability of converting numbers into strings. So instead of interpreting this as a number that it can do math to, we can interpret this as text that we can do other things to. So we'll type string with a capital S, open parentheses, and then close them at the end of clicker.generics right there. And what that will do is it'll convert it into a string. But that still won't do anything. So we have to use the dot splits function, which splits it. So basically, it, since the number is a decimal, it'll have a dot in the middle. And we can split it into two separate strings based on that dot. So we can do dot split, open parentheses, open quotes, and then put a dot, then close the quotes and close the parentheses. And now it'll split it by that dot. And if we run this, and we just let me just give myself some generics pretty quick. So now the problem is it's replaced our dot with a comma. But this is an array. And what arrays look like is this. It'll be, so in our case, eight or a string, eight, and then comma, another string, something else. And we can just choose the first one, which will be the number before the dot. And to do that, we'll open square brackets at the end of it and type 0, which means the first number in that list, the first value in that array. And if we reload and we give ourselves a generic machines, as you can see, it's rounding the number down. Excellent, excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. 
So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned next week because we're going to be... Well, let me just check. Well, next week we're going to be adding buttons for our upgrades. That is going to be pretty cool.